What is up, it's a figure hunter, and I am super fired up to have in my hands the new 955 and 255 uh, Forerunner Series Garmin watches that I'm gonna begin to do some initial videos as well as some full and final comprehensive videos in the weeks to come. I've taken the 955 through a workout, and so I'll do an initial video for that and show the heart rate graph and show all the details there. But what I wanted to do first is release two separate videos looking at two simple basic concepts. And this one is the first, and we're gonna look at how I would go about setting up the watch, how to dive into some of the settings. This is not an exhaustive or comprehensive, but it's just a basic setup at how I would set up a watch, especially if you're just sort of thinking of just the CrossFit and high intensity interval training type needs and features. So with that, let's dive in and what, go through the setup. You'll obviously see the watch and how it looks in that whole process. All right, so here it is, the 955, and I'm gonna walk you through all of the setup features. Um, no, I don't want to review that right now. So we're just going to go look through all the things that I would do. The very first of which is I would want to set up the controls button. So this is just sort of quick controls by holding down the top left. So you also can hold down the middle, which is always going to be a settings aspect. So I'm going to add controls. So I want to see the alarm clock as available option. I definitely want the backlight. I don't need battery saver because I don't care about that. Don't want to do that. Don't need a compass because that's going to be in your widget list. I do want a flashlight right away. Music control is going to be in the widget list. Set time with GPS. Sunrise and sunset is going to be in the widget list. Wi-Fi. None of these other things. So you can control me. We'll just put touch control. So then you hit the back button. This is going to take you back to what you have. And you can now see all the different features. So I first have set this controls menu up for, for me, for one particular reason, is so that I can control the backlight. Um, so I want the backlight, and we're just gonna play with it at full brightness. So at 100%, that's easy, and it's now brilliant. You can see a huge difference. When these come out of the box, they're at 20%, which to me is too dim. So now we've set all the controls. If I wanna just add an, an alarm, I can easily do that here if I want to use this as a flashlight, if I want to turn touch on or off in a moment's notice, that's great. One thing I use a lot is this phone connect, so, uh, or no, I'm sorry, this find my phone. Really, really awesome feature because if you can't find your phone and it's within 30 feet or Bluetooth length, you can find it. So make sure you know where to go there. Um, the next, you know, so there's a bunch of different widgets, you know. This screen, I can tell you, this 1.3 inch screen is just fantastic. So at any point, you could go down to the bottom and edit the widgets. So um, a couple things that I always do, this is just me, um, but I like to add the body battery widget specifically because it will tell you in a moment's notice where you see, um, and then sometimes you have to add sleep I always want the last activity because I'm not running, biking, or swimming. Um, race calendar, I'm not going to use. Steps, stress, so a lot of these features are not. So I've got that added. So now we have body battery and last activity. So I always just say body battery. You can scroll down. It'll loop back to the front. Oh, that gum. No, it doesn't. I always put body battery first because the body battery is like one of the few places you can see not just the morning report, but you can see like how much depletion your body's gone undergone because of, you know, the day. So, it. so you gotta go, you gotta make sure you check the top button so that confirms it. Then I tend to, to take out things like, you know, notifications I'll leave in there, whether sleep is here. So I'm gonna edit that and I'm gonna put that on the bottom because I like to see either by scrolling downwards first thing in the morning, I can see my, bo my body battery. By scrolling upwards first thing in the morning, I can see the sleep stats. Now, obviously, this is gonna give a morning report now. Now, the running thing, see some of these icons, I just delete. Something you won't see here are steps. You won't see calendar, just because I don't have any desire to see those things. So the training status, notifications, weather. Um, I might put weather a little bit higher, like second in line so I could quick glance the weather, but that's obviously gonna be a watch face customization. So now I've set up the rotating um, widgets. So I'll be able to scroll through and see all of these features, um, you know, 
training status has got to update training readiness. Oh, look at that. So that all flow through over time. So we're not seeing that yet. Um, and next I would go through the settings and you know, within the settings, you can always scroll up to go to the bottom of the system. Um, I always do that. I go to system and this is where you have more detailed backlight controls. So during activity, it's got the brightness at 80%. So we're going to take that to 60 and then timeout 6%. Oh, during activity also, we want gesture to be on. So I always like it. If I flip my wrist, I want that thing to light up. Same thing with general use. If I flip my wrist, I want that to light up. Gesture came on out of the box. A lot of these watches don't actually come up gesture on out of the box. And the brightness is where you see what we set before. So we'll just, you know, eh, we're just going to keep it 100% for the video. But I'll probably take it to 60% and see how that works. Sleep, I'm not going to change anything there. It's just automatically set to uh, brightness of 10. Um, well, maybe I'll go to 30 because I like, it. I like things a little bright. Uh, what can I say? So that's the backlight. I'm not going to mess with the touch. You know, hotkeys, auto lock format, Physio True Up, all these things. So I tend to go with data recording. I don't even actually know what this means, but smart frequency, I just go to every second. I think this might be um, something to do with GPS data recording. I, you know, I just jack that up. And then we're out of the system. Power manager, the first thing I would look for is the battery percentage be on. Um, all the previous Garmin's didn't come with the battery percentage on. That means that when you go in through the widgets, it'll show a percentage of battery left, not just, um, um, let me turn both those on, not just the actual, like a little picture of the battery and how much, you know, area is left on it. So the mapping, activity tracking, I don't think there's anything here. I definitely always turn off the move alert because that's just annoying. Um, great, nothing there. Safety, user profile. Um, you can always check. Fitness age 39, that's BS. So, um, great. Okay, one other thing I like to always adjust is notification alerts during a workout. So it's just one of these setting things. You just go click into the smart notifications and you can see it's just got general use and during text, you know, during activities. And I just like to turn everything off. Otherwise I get a bunch of notifications and the watch will just continually buzz throughout a workout and it's just sort of bothersome. So I always just pop that off. And then obviously you're only in a workout for an hour typically. So that should be fine. And you're not missing out on any urgent news. All these things look good. Connectivity, you know, I always connect the chest strap. That's just sort of the name of the game. Um, I'm sorry, not connectivity. The sensors and accessories connect the chest strap. Um, oh yeah, you might have to go in and t add within the sensors and accessories. Look at that, it doesn't have pulse ox built into the, um, the need to turn pulse ox on. So I guess the assumption will be is that you are gonna get it automatically. So, um, you know, I'll give you a little tour of watch faces. These are the watch faces that come on it. Um, just because this is a new watch. There's the old 945. Uh, there's the old 245. There's ghetto generic, ghetto generic, ghetto generic. And, you know, one thing I always do, if I like, you can always recreate any of these. So with this, you can click on it and say like, I oh, know I'll never use that. I want it to be out of my li lineup. You can always recreate it because the customization page is um, pretty easy to navigate. So any of these, Oh, look at that. It's like the old line graph. That's pretty great. Um, I'm not going to delete that because I don't know how easy it is to bring that back. I don't know that I'd ever use it. So what the heck? Let's just delete it. Um, some of these custom watch or some of these watch faces that come built into the watch, like I'm not going to use that. The 245 rendition. Definitely not going to use that. And if I wanted to use that, I know I can add that later. So I'm just going to wipe out useless watch faces like that's ugly. And I could add that later if I wanted to. Um, that's all right. And then you could add new. So now I've cleaned up the watch faces. And so now I got to go pick activities. So if you go run, you go all the way to the bottom or you scroll up to go to the top. I'm not going to use any of those. So I'm just going to hit add. It should ask me to build a favorites list. When I go down, I look for the first one that I would always add is cardio. 
because that's what we're going to use in the other video to convert it to a CrossFit workout. Strength, there's cardio. You know, the HIT one, the H, you know, high intensity interval training, it's, you know, set as favorite. Okay, great. So we're going to put that above run. So now we got a two favorites. So every time you go to add one, um, for whatever reason, it's not listed as favorite. You can edit that in, you know, the um, Garmin Connect as well. So, you know, I would probably add some other basic things. So maybe mountain biking. Um, I always add something super lame. I always add walk because I just like to track everything. So if I'm going on a walk, guess what? I'm tracking it. Yeah, I set it as a favorite. Heck yeah. I'm going to put it over the run because I like it more than running. So now I have all this activity set up, and then I'm going to do a separate video for how to set up your CrossFit activity tracking where you're going to convert the cardio into a, something titled CrossFit um, so that you know what the difference is. Sometimes I use cardio if I'm just doing like burn off some calories doing like elliptical or rowing machine or something like that. And if I'm going to like a traditional CrossFit class, then I'm going to use the CrossFit one. So, and that's basically it. You just go through, you set it up however you want or however you like, or those types of things, their brightness and controls that you want to have at your quick and ready available. But that's how I would go about setting up the 955 and stay tuned for lots more videos. Obviously, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. Thanks so much, Fit Gear Hunter.